Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Okay, so all this week I am trying to use up stuff from my freezer, fridge, and pantry. So in my skillet here, I have, let me show you the package. I have this beef smoked sausage that I cut up and then I just browned it in the skillet. It's fully cooked. And so I did drain out some of the fat and then to it, I am just adding some barbecue sauce. Howard and I really like this barbecue sauce a lot. And I'm just gonna let this simmer and kind of thicken up a little bit. Okay, so here's our plate. Here is the sausage and it is very tasty, of course. Serving it with some canned green beans and then also some macaroni and cheese. I had everything, of course, on hand. Here is the macaroni and cheese that I'm using. It is from Aldi. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So we are eating from our freezer tonight. We are having an H-E-B sesame chicken frozen meal. It is really good. Howard and I like these meals a lot. And so with it, I just made some fried rice. I've talked about this fried rice a lot on our channel, really like it. And I made it according to package directions. So you just need cold rice and egg, um, green onions, bacon, and then the Kikkoman sauce. And here it is. It looks like it came from a restaurant. So quick and easy dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey, so I am trying out a new recipe today. It is from one of my old cookbooks. I think this is 1983, Better Homes and Gardens. I think I got this like in a antique shop or something, but the recipe that I'm going to be trying out is this layered meat and potato pie. And so I've got everything that I need for it. And I was looking for this recipe online, could not find it anywhere. So I'm just gonna write it out for you guys or type it up for you guys, I should say. Um, one thing I wanted to make mention of is that it calls for a fourth of a cup of onion soup mix, which is, if you don't know, this stuff right here. And so it comes with two envelopes. And so um, I open up one envelope and as you can see, it's a little less than a fourth of a cup. So I guess over the years they have downsized how much of this onion soup mix was in the packages. So anyway, um, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees and in my bowl I have a pound of lean ground beef. To that I'm going to add some milk and then I'm going to add the um, onion seasoning mix. Now I will say, I was a little bit hesitant about this recipe because it calls for you to put the raw meat directly into the pie shell. I've never done that before with raw meat. So um, I'm hoping that it turns out okay and that that bottom crust isn't soggy. So I'm just mixing this up here. And I saw a bunch of recipes in this old cookbook that I wanna try, so I will be trying those out over the next uh, few weeks. Let me try out a bunch of, bunch of different recipes. Okay, so I've got one of my pie crust in the pie pan, and I'm using the Pillsbury pie crust. So I've got one in there. I'm just gonna take the meat and put it in the bottom of the pan here. And just gonna spread it around. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and then work on the potato portion. Okay, so I've got my hash browns here. These are frozen hash browns that I let completely thaw. To that, I'm gonna add some butter. And that's just potato right there, in case you're wondering. And I'm going to add some fresh parsley and some salt and give it a good stir. And now I'm just gonna add this potato mixture to the top of the pie. So now I'm just taking my other crust and then I am laying it right on top. 
And then I'm gonna crimp my edges together. And then I'm just gonna cut some slits in the top of the pie so that it can breathe. And I'm gonna bake this for about an hour or until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, so here is the pie. I let it cook for about an hour and 10 minutes. Let me try to get closer so you can see it. And so the hash browns, how did I taste it? The hash browns kind of taste like mashed potatoes. I was afraid they would be dry and they're not. They're really good. Serving it with some green, pe green beans that I just sauteed in some olive oil and seasoned them. And then here is the entire pie right here. And I really like it. I was kind of afraid of how it would turn out because I've never cooked raw meat in a pie crust before, and I just didn't know what to expect, but it's good. The bottom of the crust is completely done, flaky, delicious. Like I said, the potato portion, the hash browns, taste like mashed potatoes. I thought they might be dry because there was only, you know, just butter in them, but they are really good. I would definitely make this again. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time. Hey, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our pantry and I had this in my pantry, never tried it before. It is a cooking sauce from HEB, which is a grocery store that's here in Texas. All you do is add chicken to it in the sauce and then you add pasta. So I had this in my pantry and then I had half a package of this linguine in my pantry, so I used that leftover green beans from the other day. And then we are also having some garlic knots that I cooked in my air fryer. These are from Aldi and um, they are actually really good. My first time buying these was recently and I had these, I don't know, maybe a week ago. I can't remember exactly when I had them for the first time. And I am surprised at how good they really are. You get six knots in there and they are super tasty. I would definitely buy them again. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So it was an absolutely beautiful day here in Texas, high of 82 degrees. Right now it's about 79. Howard decided he wanted to grill. So on the grill, we've got some brisket hot dogs. Okay, so here's our plate. I had some leftover chili in the freezer from when we had chili dogs over the summer. So we're having that along with some cheese. There's cheese underneath the chili and on top of the chili. We're also trying to finish off um, some Doritos, um, these spicy white cheddar Doritos. They're okay, not a lot of flavor. I probably would not buy them again. They're the organic kind. And here's a close up of the hot dogs. Here is what the packaging looks like from the hot dogs. They're from HEB, a grocery store here in Texas. Let me flip it over. Uh, they're brisket hot dogs, so you can see beef, water, and then brisket ends are the third ingredient. So uh, we are looking forward to giving these a try. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see y'all next time.